I'm John Domenico Iannetti from the Department of Neuroscience, Physiology and Pharmacology of University College London and my research deals with pain and uh, how the brain reacts to external stimuli which are perceived as painful, like for example when we touch a hot object. Uh, it is well known that if you apply painful stimuli to the hand of a healthy subject, like using this laser um, heat, you get some pain and the stronger the stimulus the more intense the pain perceived. What we found out is that if you deliver exactly the same stimuli always on the dorsum of the hands but when the hands are crossed over the midline like in this case the sensation of pain produced by the stimuli is reduced so there is a small but significant analgesia we perceive less pain. To study pain we need this um, laser device because that is a way of giving uh, a pure pain sensation without any touch because the laser hits the skin and activates some pain specific nerve fibers that tells the brain that that heating has happened and that results in a sensation of pain. Uh, we need to measure this pain in some way for example by asking uh, using some scales to rate the intensity of pain perceived and then we also want to uh, measure the brain activity to understand how the brain reacts to this um, painful stimuli and that we can do for example by placing electrodes on the head of the subject and recording the so-called electroencephalogram which is basically as we can see here a plot of the electrical activity of the neurons uh, composing uh, the brain. So basically um, what we found out, and we can try to do that live now, uh, when we deliver a, a laser a pure pain without any touch to the hand of our subject, we can see the brain reaction. For example, we give a stimulus now, and if we look at the um, activity here, we can see that when the stimulus is delivered, which is this blue line, there is a small response in the uh, ongoing activity of the brain. And then if we deliver the same stimulus, but when the hands are crossed over the midline, like in this case, um, we can uh, again deliver a stimulus and record the activity in the uh, electroencephalogram. And we can see again here there is the stimulus and there is the small deflection, which is basically the uh, brain reaction to the external uh, painful stimulus. So if we do that uh, on many subjects and we repeat the stimuli many, many times, what we observe, we observe that when the stimuli are delivered on the hands in a cross position, the subject perceives less pain and the electrical uh, response from the brain, that part which is more correlated to the awareness of the stimulus is actually reduced. So we get this analgesia in response to stimuli delivered when the hands are in an uncommon position. So why is that? Um, well, we believe that uh, the reason is because the brain gets confused uh, when we cross the hands. And if you think about that, when we uh, interact with the world, for example, when we pick up an object with our right hand, the brain areas dealing with the right hand responsible for the sensations coming from the right hand um, are activated together with the brain areas uh, responsible for the right side of the world. But when we cross our hands and we have a stimulus, for example, on my right hand when that is on the left side of the space, we activate brain areas responsible for the right hand and for the left side of the world, which are less commonly activated at the same time. And that results in a less effective processing of the sensory stimulus and uh, in a reduced perception, even in a reduced pain perception. We believe that this result is important because it might potentially lead to novel treatments for patients with chronic pain um, by creating this conflict between the brain areas responsible for the body and for the external space.